Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel DSP NIT Andhra. My name is Arun Kumar and today in this video we are going to discuss about the use of DFT in linear filtering. To understand this concept we need to know what linear filters do. Linear filters process time varying input signals or sequences to produce output signals or sequences. When we have an input signal x of n and impulse response h of n given to a linear time invariant system LTI we get output sequence y of n. So basically linear filters perform linear convolution operation. It is mathematically given as y of n equal to x of n convolution h of n where y of n is the output sequence x of n is the input sequence and h of n is the impulse response impulse response is the response of the system when the input is impulse that is how the system behaves for an impulse input so so far we have understood that for linear filtering we need linear convolution operation we can calculate circular convolution using DFT. The product of two DFTs is equal to the circular convolution of the corresponding time domain sequences. So if in frequency domain y of k equal to x of k into h of k by using IDFT we get y of n equal to x of n circular convolution h of n. For a finite duration sequences if length of x of n equal to L and length of h of n equal to M where x of n is the input signal and h of n is the impulse response the length of y of n output in linear convolution is equal to n equal to l plus m minus 1 similarly length of y of n in circular convolution is equal to maximum of l comma n so the length of circular convolution and length of linear convolution are different the length of linear convolution is greater than the top circular convolution so we need to match both lengths to do this a dft of size n greater than or equal to l plus m minus 1 is required to represent y of n to do this we need to increase the length of sequences x of n and h of n to n points by appending zeros now let's try to understand the topic using an example here we need to determine the response of the linear filter with input sequence x of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 1 and impulse response h of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. The input sequence has length l equal to 4 and impulse response has length m equal to 3. The linear convolution of these two sequences produces a length n equal to 6. So we need to have at least DFT of 6 points. But let's perform a 8 point DFT. This is because it is easier to perform a DFT which has the power of 2. So let's calculate 8 point DFT of x of n. x of k equal to summation n equal to 0 to 7 x of n into e to the power of minus j 2 pi k n by 8. Similarly, when we perform 8 point DFT of impulse response h of n, it is given as h of k equal to summation n equal to 0 to 7 h of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi k n by 8. So, after the calculation of 8 point DFTs of x of n and h of n, we get these values of x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5 x of 6 and x of 7. Similarly, for impulse response, we get h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4, h of 5, h of 6 and h of 7. The product of x of k and h of k will give us y of k. So y of 0 is equal to x of 0 into h of 0. Similarly, y of 1 is equal to x of 1 into h of 1. Similarly, we can calculate y of 2, y of 3, y of 4, y of 5, y of 6 and y of 7. Finally, we can know our output sequence y of n by using IDFT. 8 point IDFT gives us 
y of n equal to summation k equal to 0 to 7 y of k into e to the power of j 2 pi k n by 8. The end result is y of n equal to 1 comma 4 comma 9 comma 11 comma 8 comma 3 comma 0 comma 0. But this is an 8 point DFT. What we required is a 6 point DFT. So we only take the first 6 values of the output. So we calculated the 6 point circular convolution of the sequences input x of n and impulse h of n by adding zeros. The output sequence we got here is y of n equal to 1 comma 4 comma 9 comma 11 comma 8 comma 3. This is the same sequence obtained from a linear convolution as we have matched the lengths of both circular convolution and linear convolution. So we have understood the use of DFT in linear filtering in this video. Thank you everyone.